Hello and welcome to the 100 Most Prolific NES Speedrunners October 2024 update. This is an attempt to rank the top speedrunners of officially licensed US power release games for the NES. This is the first full update after the version 2 changes. If you want to know anything about that, check the previous video. Uh, currently no future changes are scheduled, although we might do some main category cleanup soon. Standings up to date as of October 1st. Now, who was the most prolific NES speedrunner in September? So, measuring 20 people who had the biggest increase from last month to this month. For 20 was JKL. I believe that world record was Ghoul School, which he only lost very briefly. 19, Star Kratos. I believe he's actually lost that world record yesterday. Uh, I think it was um, Pac-Man. 18, Superman. 17, JC. That is from the Zelda 2 world record. Congratulations. For 72 as well. 16, Perfect 10. 15, Notorious. 14, Holly Garak. 13, J. Fred. Two new world records. I think one is Championship Bowling. I think the other one was a tied world record. For 12, She's Chardcore. For 11, Mikey Dies a Lot. For 10, Tom Cabs. For 9, Dr. Ox. For 8, Lack Attack. For 7, Zarconis. It's actually the rare month where Zarconis or Tom Cabs are now at the top of this list. 6, 8 Bits of Joy. Top five. Five's Professor Retro. Four games, 1600 points. For four is Pikachu. Two new games, some improvements and some old ones, and a little over 2000 points. Bit of a big 20 effect there. Number three is Yeldrick. Seven new games, two new world records, 2400 points. 2404. Top of this list was very tight this month. Number two, Billick. Four new games. 24, 16 points. And number one is Shakeke with five new games and 2,670 points. You've noticed him rising up here and there. He's made this list a few times, but uh, congratulations to the September 24 Nintendo Most Pro Prolific Leader Shakeke. Now to the list. So, if you did not see the version 2 update, some of the stuff might be a little unusual. Shout out to Notorious, finally made the top 100. He's been working on it for a while. I don't mean that as a matter of shame. He's tackled some very difficult games. I think Omquat has a, uh, a pretty new time too. Jack Pro also moved up a little bit. Um, was 100 after the version 2 update. Started. And this is the closest uh, we've had so far. Uh, 0.3 points, 0 0.30 point difference between Joka and Slackinator, which this does not count in Slackinator's new world record in Top Gun. So uh, that happened right after I, I did the update. Oh. 
And there's there's not a lot of movement into this range. But it is interesting to look at this and remember. I think the last update, June's 88, was actually 88th, but the uh, the version 2 um, point change shot him up quite a bit, along with Andrew G, who I think was out of the top 100 entirely. That's one of the things about um, NES speedrunning, is you see people go in and out of activity pretty frequently. So sometimes people will shoot up the list and then they will just kind of stay there for a while. I think uh, Firebrof's learning some Big 20 games as well. Wouldn't be surprised to see him come up just a little bit. Guided Relations to Elite Yeltsarek, breaking top 50. Like being right behind Joe Polito. Professor Retro has moved up a few spots. Uh, I'm doing some good work. Okay, yeah, Bits of Joy had a pretty good month. It was a lot higher before the uh, the point change, but it's still pushing through. Grayskull there at 25. I think Grayskull is also working on some big 20 games. I wouldn't be surprised to see him move up. I think Ray Dude is as well. Sin with the new gem fire time. Not the world record, but a very good time. Haunting me to try to do. Swedish block there with JKL and ND. Show that there's been some movement here at the top. I think both JKL and ND, or excuse me, JKL and Skate Man have both been in the top 10. Tom Cab's up to 14. Uh, I think past Darth Tyrell. Then Darth has not been able to do a lot of new games this month. Kazix, Spyreal, number 11. Ryu Hayabusa, second straight month at number 11. And took the Pac-Man world record back. So we might have something interesting and new happening there. Over the top ten. Number ten white hat holding holding strong. The nine overswarm actually fell down a little bit. Eight is still lack attack. As uh, number seven is Pikachu, who actually passed both of them this month. So lack attack. Past Oberswarm, I got passed by Pikachu. Six, Ness Cardinality. Five, Smart Alec. Four, Arcus. Look how close that is. 16 points. I don't think Smart Alec's put in his big 20 efforts yet, so... He might already be there. For three, she's Charcor has moved up just a little bit this month. Number two, Toad. And number one, Zarkonis. Uh, even with what you might call a pretty quiet month by his standards, still very much out first. Yes, broke 60,000 points. That's new. 
Oh, even more stats. The highest rank increases. Nato Natorius, I spelled his name wrong. Sorry, Nate. Uh, Natorius goes from uh, 108th to 97th. The all Rec went from 58th to 48th. Jack Pro, 100th to 91st. And then um, Orb went up a few spots. Professor Retro up a few spots. 8 Bits of Joy and Tomcats all inching up a little bit. It's hard to make too much quick progress up in the top here unless you go crazy. Steady progress is uh, pretty solid. Most new runners per game, Super Mario Brothers, of course. Um, Ness Open Tournament Golf, part of the Big 20. Boynus Blob, Jackal, Where's Waldo, all part of Big 20. The WWF Steel Cage Challenge. Um, I believe those are all world records, too. I'd have to double check. I think at least two of them are. Um, among some of the other games. Then the world record numbers, um, you know, the relevant categories we have here on screen. Uh, Nescar is uh, down to 38. He is, uh, I mean, by his numbers, he has uh, quite a bit more because there's a difference in our categories, but uh, there's been a lot of people targeting Nescar games recently. Um, I guess myself included, although wasn't the point. Top four there. Yeah, a little bit of inch up here and there. And... That's it. Thank you for watching the video once again. Full spreadsheet along with the second spreadsheet showing month-to-month -month changes will be posted in the YouTube video uh, description. Again, no future changes are in the pipeline. If there's something you're interested in particular, uh, especially if it has to do with analytics, let me know. I like digging into the stats. And, uh, yeah, like, comment, uh, subscribe, give me money, uh, whatever all that is. But thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.